Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're continuing our family vacation. Today's Hollywood Studios day and we were not able to get Rise of the Resistance at 7 a.m. But we were able to get boarding group 102 at 1 o'clock today when we first got in the park. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food, and enjoy Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. I believe we're going to start off today down Sunset and maybe head up the Tower of Terror. That's something we weren't able to do on our four-part challenge. And it's something me and Bonnie love to ride. Now, Mom, not so much. You want to ride Tower of Terror? No. No? Not so much? All right. How about Rock and Roller Coaster? No. No? <laughs> I'm excited for my mom and sister to ride Rise of the Resistance again. And plus, we have Olga's Canteen Reservations. So I can't wait to see Bon Bon drink a Fuzzy Tauntaun. <laughs> bon Bon drink a Fuzzy Tauntaun. Doesn't that sound funny? Something new that just started, I think yesterday, is Beauty and the Beast live on stage. So I'm hoping that we can actually uh, catch a showtime. I don't know what time the showtimes are, but we'll take a look once we get down here. The funny thing is, is Bon Bon used to actually play or do theater. And the last play I seen of hers was a Beauty and the Beast play. And what were you? I was a knife. You were, she was a knife. In the BR guest scene. Yep. <laughs> Looks like the show times are 11, 1, 2, 4, and 5. So maybe we can catch the 2 o'clock showing. And boy, oh boy, do I miss Fantasmic. I think we're just going to wait it out for the 2 o'clock showing. This is something I've been actually been missing for quite some time now. Oh, it feels great to be back here. Look at that. It's been such a long time. The last time I was here, I came to see the Grand Floridian Orchestra actually uh, do the uh, Pixar show that used to be here. Something really cool about the Theater of the Stars is they have the handprints of some celebrities, kind of like the uh, Chinese movie theater has. And a lot of them are actually really cool, recognizable names. Woody Harrelson right here. And then a couple more over here too. We've got Lou Ferrigno, the original Hulk. Look at the size of those hands. And then up here, we've got Tom Conway. And it looks like he made a mistake because he put one handprint down there. And then this one has six fingers. So he must have put his other hand on top of that. That's really funny. Look at the theater itself. It is huge in here. And they have those gigantic helicopter fans that keep you cool. I love these fans. They really do keep you cool. Once upon a time, in a faraway time, John Prince lived in a shining house. Although he had everything his heart desired, the prince was spoiled, selfish, and unkind. One winter's night, an old beggar woman came to the castle and offered him a single rose in return for shelter from the bitter cold. Repulsed by her haggard appearance, the prince sneered at the gift and turned the old woman away. But she warned him not to be deceived by appearances, for beauty is found within. Beast for all time. As the years passed, he fell into despair and lost all hope. For who could ever learn to love a beast? inside a dark and foreboding castle inhabited by a very odd collection of characters. Master will be furious if he finds out what they are up to. <laughs> Thank you. 
such a great show. I really, really miss the entertainment and the different shows that they had at Disney World. I'm hoping Finding Nemo comes back soon and Fantasmic, but it was great to see that and the production value is just so exquisite. That is Disney at its best right there. Now it's time to go from be our guest to the Tower of Terror where I wish we could be our guest there. Can you imagine staying at the Tower Hotel? Like that would be amazing, right? Yeah. Wait, where are you going? Now, now, where is your motor coach going right now? Your motor coach going? Oh, oh I can hold the boat. Well, yeah. Bruce Beer is our work there. Let's see. Are you Miss Jenkins, perhaps? Maybe. Maybe? Oh, wonderful. It appears we have an express check in for you. Is that so? Yeah. Oh, this way. Oh, boy. You're checking in, Mom. <laughs> Escorted into the Tower of now, Terror there, Ma. Are We're going in the back way here. <laughs> <laughs> He's the bellhop. <laughs> the bellhop's taking us to our room, Mom. That was the coolest Disney magic I have ever witnessed. I cannot wait to talk about that, but wow, absolutely amazing. Now we're going to ride the Tower of Terror. To your very own episode of The Twilight Zone. Awesome was Bellhop Dylan. It was great. We were just walking down the street. Mom has no idea what the Tower of Terror ride is. So he picked this up and he was doing this to other people too. And it was really cool to see like uh, like walk around performers. And he was like a bellhop. He was walking around with a racket, like a, a tennis racket. He's like, I can't stand all this racket. It was awesome. And he grabbed us and brought us right up here. And for a second there, I thought my mom was checking in. I thought she was going to ride the Tower of Terror. Once we got to the door, she was like, oh no, 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 no. She heard the screams and backed out. So me and Bonnie rode, but kudos to that cast member. That is such a great thing to see happening. What a, what a magical moment. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm very, I love it. Anywho, we need to move along, but that was great. <laughs> My mom just said he scared her so me, much. You said to me? Yeah, because he, he said, you're not Miss Jenkins. And he's like, what hotel are you checking into? Where are you staying? And my what mom pointed, you pointed That's up here what? though. And then when we got here, he was like, you lied to me. You're not Miss Jenkins. Oh, him. No, don't send me the bill. Send it to her. No, it's you. You're the one who was staying oh, here. Oh, oh no. Oh, you you were just there, did I not just escort her in? Yep, she already checked out. Look at that, madam. It'll cost you a whopping $15 for three nights' stay. Three nights? Okay, then I'll take it. All right, you get into the hotel, and the director will be right down the way. Okay, thank you. Enjoy, madam. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Bon Bon and I are gonna hit up Rock and Roller Coaster. And also, did you notice Bellhop Dylan is out doing his thing and just grabbing guests from Sunset Boulevard? And he came up to mom and he said, Miss Jenkins! That was so, I still can't get over it. I'm still smiling about it. <laughs> Here comes our limo. Make it a super stretch. I almost didn't make it in time because traffic is Oh! But don't worry, we've got to cover 
Just keep it right here on LA's Classic Rock Station. Come on, hang on, ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it! Did you love it? I loved it. I love it. Look at we're glowing in the dark. Glowing I look so dark. festive. I love this shirt too. Look at that. You look so cool. We're just sitting here now, and I've never actually got to sit here like this. It looks really pretty. Yeah. Doesn't it look really pretty with all the lights and the track and everything? Yeah. I'm sure we're gonna head in soon, but I really, oh, is that a hidden Mickey? Yeah. Right there, do you see it? That is so cool, what a hidden Mickey. What a start to the day. And it was so cool, cause Rock and Roller Coaster was real quick, not even a long wait at all. And actually Tower of Terror is at 20 minute wait right now. But thanks to uh, Bellhop Dylan, he actually took us right in. Well, that was awesome yeah. but wow what a great day so far and we still got a lot to do we still got olga's to do yeah. that i am so excited for mm -hmm. now i think we're gonna head on down to muppet vision 3d do you like the muppets mom i love the muppets yeah do you know who yeah. sweetums is no no you never met sweetums no i'm sure once you see him you'll recognize him but i love sweetums okay. and we get to meet him today oh, well he'll good. come out he'll say hi okay <laughs> you see the sign there we have got such a crazy next hour and a half. We have the Muppets right now we're going to do, and then we have Rise of the Resistance, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, and then Olga's Canteen. Like, we're going to be hustling, but it's so worth it because that is, that's so much happening in just a little bit of time. Ensure that everyone in your party has a pair of our special 3D glasses. Remember, do not put on your 3D glasses until you are seated inside the theater. And so what are we going to see in here anyway? It's one of those 3D movies. Put on your glasses. Now we're out. Hey, 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 look. Well, put on your glasses. Look at the guy in the goofy mask. That's not a mask. Sorry, lady. I love Muppet Vision 3D. I know a lot of people, they're not the biggest fans, but I think it's the best 3D at Disney. I think it's better than uh, It's Tough to Be a Bug. I think the 3D here is better than It's Tough to Be a Bug. I do like It's Tough to Be a Bug because of the spiders and the pokes and stuff like that, but when it comes to just 3D, that's amazing. Now that we got Muppets done, Mom, it's time for Rise of the Resistance. Oh, Are you yeah. excited? I'm excited. You love this ride, don't you? You like Mickey and Minnie's better though. I do. Yeah, we'll do that right after this though. Okay. My mom is super worried that the first order is going to come after her. Because last time we did this, uh, it was uh, our first park day. We did all four parks and we did Rise of the Resistance. And it was her first time doing it. They actually came right to her and it was so funny. We told her they were going to take her hat and she took her hat and hit it. So she's like, are they going to come after me again? I hope they do because that was amazing. Looks like we got stuck here on Rise of the Resistance. This must be down. We've been in this room for, I think, just about 20 minutes, actually. I think we're going to miss our reservation for Olga's Canteen because we're still actually in the queue. Uh, last time I told you it was 20 minutes, we're approaching an hour just about in this room here. So we've been waiting a long time, and I don't know uh, if it's going to come back up, and I think we're going to miss our Olga's reservation. It looks like an hour and a half later, we're getting evacuated out. Thank you. Well, that was a little bit of a damper. So we got stuck in Rise of the Resistance for an hour and 45 minutes. We couldn't leave because we couldn't get my mom's ECV out. Like they were allowing people to leave and then get a return time, but 
we couldn't get out, so we missed our Olga's Canteen uh, reservation. So I stopped at the uh, guest experiences, and they gave us a return fast pass. But I wanted to make sure that we weren't going to get charged for Olga's, or if we can actually get back into Olga's. And they said that there was nothing they can do to go down to Olga's and just find out. I mean, if we can get in, we can get in. But uh, the most important thing is I don't want to get charged for the missed reservation. You know what I mean? So we'll go down and check in with them and see what they can do for us. Sadly, Olga's will have to be for another day. They're pretty full up right now and they can't get us in, but they did actually mark it down so I don't get charged for the reservation. But I was really looking forward to going in there and having a drink with my sister with DJ Rex. Maybe next year. Good news, Rise of the Resistance reopened, so now we can go ride it. Me and Bon Bon are gonna ride it. They gave us uh, the return time so we can actually just go in the fast pass line. But my mom, I think she just wants to sit out. It was a lot getting stuck in there for like that long of a time. So I think she's just gonna chill out, relax for a little bit. Hopefully she can, you know, feel a little bit better to maybe go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But at least we got on Rise. Hey, two hours wasn't for nothing. Oh. We don't have a lot of time, Bon Bon. We don't have a lot of time. If you caught on, I think I yelled B mode. Uh, Kylo was in B mode. He wasn't there himself. He was in his ship outside. And that was really cool because now Bond got to see it both ways. I mean, there's no saying B mode is better than the other because it's not. That's why they call it B mode. But it was still cool to be able to see it. And at least we got to ride. That's the most important thing. Now we can make our way to Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and things are looking up. The rain's gone, we got to ride Rise. You know, we couldn't do Olga's, but maybe another day. At least uh, we did get to do Rise and that's the most important thing. So things are getting better. 
wow, I feel like the rainstorm that we got, it wasn't even that big of a rainstorm, actually flooded everyone out of the park because all the wait times dropped down to barely anything. It's only a 10 minute wait from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Look at, there's nobody actually over in the outside queue. It just lines up right over there. That is pretty remarkable. My mom's feeling much better. She can say no to Kylo Ren, but she can't say no to Mickey and Minnie. Maybe we'll get goofy this time, Ma. Pale Mickey and Minnie's for the win there. And now I think we're gonna head on down to Toy Story Land. Speaking of Toy Story Land, how do you guys like my, my shirt? I got a lot of cool shirts. All these are Roosevelt's and I love it. This one's kind of like Pixar. So it's got Up on it. It's got the aliens from Toy Story, Mike Wazowski. I really like this one. It's very, very colorful. Oh, and take a look at this. Slinky's got its lights on. I love coming here at night. Oh, there he goes. Slinky Dog Dash is definitely best at night because of all the pretty colors. So right now it's just about sunset, so we're gonna get a little bit of the best of both worlds. A little daylight, a little nighttime ride. I like it. If you see this gigantic mural here, this is the concept art that Andy made when he was constructing Slinky Dog Dash. But my question is, where's the sharks? Like, where are the sharks? I wanna see sharks on the roller coaster. Wouldn't it be great if there was a scene where Jaws comes out? Oh, and here comes Slinky. We're gonna ride the front row. Last time we rode the back row, and I always think the back is best, but we gotta give it a try here. Oh boy.
The big finale! Slinky got me all hyped up and now I'm kind of a little hungry so I decided to get myself a snack. Here in Toy Story Land, they have a new Halloween Pop-Tart that I've seen that I've really been wanting to try so I placed a mobile order while I was on Slinky Dog Dash so that way it actually is ready when I got off. So we're gonna head right on over to Woody's Lunchbox. Here it is, look at that bad boy. I think there's Nutella on the inside or chocolate and then vanilla icing and candy corn. A nice little Pop-Tart. Now, I have to confess, this is my first one I've ever gotten here before. And I was a little shocked that it's, it's not like a, a hot Pop-Tart. It's actually a cold Pop-Tart. I wish they had like really long toasters they can stick it in, but I'm still very excited to try. Me and Bon Bon split it in half. What do you think so far? It's good? I'm gonna try it. Hmm. This is really, really good. I do like it. I feel like it's more of a cookie though. I don't taste like Pop-Tart. Like, so it wouldn't be like a Pop-Tart that you would get like, uh, like you would have for breakfast, more or less like a cookie. Very, very good though. As we're walking out, look at not a single person in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. How awesome is that? And I guess now that's a wrap. We're done with Hollywood Studios. I'm so sad because we only have one more day in the parks with my mom and sister before they leave. And we saved Magic Kingdom for last because it's Magic Kingdom, you know? And yeah, had a fun day today. Got a little derailed, but we kept positive hopes and things got better. So, anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We will see you next time. Bye.